2014, a group of astronomers are studying the Kuiper Belt, a vast band of icy asteroids that sits way, way outside the orbit of Neptune. Most of these objects move in a neat, circular formation around the Sun. But the astronomers are puzzled by a small group that appears to break the rules, swinging far outside the main belt on wild, extended orbits. Something sitting far outside the Kuiper belt seems to be pulling these asteroids out of line, something the size of a giant planet. When we saw these alignments of all these objects out there, we thought, oh, everybody's going to say there's a planet. We have to very strongly prove there's not a planet because, of course, we all know there's not another planet out there. That's ridiculous. Mike asks his colleague, Constantine Batygin, to run a computer simulation to see what effect a ninth planet should have on the Kuiper Belt. Stunningly, the simulation predicts elongated orbits identical to the ones already observed. But the simulation also spits out a surprise. There should be a second set of rogue orbits that are perpendicular to the first set. If Mike can locate these weird predicted objects inside the Kuiper Belt, Planet Nine is almost certainly real. I remember sitting back and, and thinking, Okay, we're going to right now plot the data, the real observational data on top of the model. And Mike said, if these two match up, my jaw is just going to drop to the floor. The theory says they should be right here and right here. And I did the calculations very quickly to see where they were and brought them up. And there they are, one, two, three, four, five, right on these lines, exactly where we predicted they should be. The moment we saw this, we went from cautious to, holy cow, this really is there. We have to make sure to tell everybody right away because it's actually real. Mike and Constantine had unlocked the solar system's greatest secret. Planet Nine was almost certainly real, and it had to be huge, perhaps 10 times the mass of Earth. We're not talking about something like our moon or Pluto. We're talking about something that is literally planet-sized. And we're seeing its gravitational wake affecting these other objects. The idea that there could be a giant planet that we've never seen is something I think most of people wouldn't have bet on. But the evidence is remarkable. 